Hello everyone. Welcome to Efficient User. This is another video in the series of Angular tutorial. Yesterday, uh, like or in the past video, uh, we have seen like uh, how we can uh, uh, differentiate the various things in Angular. So basically, we have seen Angular architecture. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can set up a develop environment so that we can try out some things and like uh, do an experiment uh, in your local box. So let's get started into the video. So as I always said, uh, I will post this link in the description. You can check out uh, anytime for the test version, text version, basically. So very first thing you need to install for uh, uh, try out the Angular is like uh, Node.js and the NPM on your machine. That's your uh, step one actually. So what Node.js will provide you is like a, uh, it will provide you an environment to run your program in your uh, local box. So I had provided the link here. Like uh, if you open the new tab, you will go to the Node.js uh, download page. Always go with the LTS rec uh, recommended for most users. You can choose between MSA or zip version for your Windows machine. And uh, some other uh, machines uh, you can check out uh, based on the needs. If you have a Mac OS, you can uh, check out this package. So if you click this part, like uh, if uh, I want a MSA version and a 64 bit, if I click this, uh, a file will get downloaded. You can double click and uh, install the package in your local box. Next step, uh, once you have installed a Node.js, uh, you could be able to access the NPM as well. NPM is basically the part of uh, like uh, managing your packages, various packages. Not It's not just restricted to Angular. It's like uh, you can manage lots of packages available in the NPM JS uh, website. Next thing, once you installed up, uh, you need to verify the version basically. So here uh, they have mentioned uh, like a uh, latest LTS version is 12.18.4. Uh, and again, uh, you can uh, install the latest version always. So if I go to my command prompt, I could be able to uh, verify whether Node.js is installed and what is my NPM version with the command. So to check the Node.js version, I need to type node space hyphen V. Let's try it. So I need to type node space hyphen V. So it's showing like a, I have a version of 12.18.1. So if I want to check the NPM version, I need to type npm space v hyphen v npm space hyphen v. So npm version is uh, 6.14.5. So right now we have like installed uh, Node.js. Next thing you need to do is like uh, install Angular CLI. Basically CLI means a uh, command line interface. Like uh, it is a uh, your interface to uh, run your Angular related commands. So what Angular CLI will provide is like a uh, it will have a list of uh, things like uh, creating the application and uh, creating components uh, inside your application, those kind of things. If you Google Angular CLI, you could be able to see like a cli.angular.io. So they have uh, provided a few commands like uh, ng new, ng generate, ng serve, and the test commands. So in today's video, we will just uh, see how we can install the Angular CLI. And we can try out this uh, ng new or basically. In the next video, we'll uh, show, I will show like uh, ng generate what is the purpose of this particular thing. We can have it as a separate video. For today, we will create a new package, like uh, we'll generate a new Angular project using this ng new. And, in the, and I will show you how to run the program basically. In the next video, we can see the folder structure and the project structure basically. And I will show, explain each and every part files are getting created. What are the files are getting created? So next step. So step one is like uh, you need to install Node.js. Step two is verify whether it is installed properly. Third step is uh, you need to install uh, npm Angular CLI via npm. npm is like a node package manager. So if you go to my command, I need to type like this and I click enter. So basically it will uh, Install the package. Since I already uh, installed, I just uh, cancelled the thing. So this iPhone G is like it will install the Angular CLI globally, which means uh, it can be accessed in any part of your application inside the uh, your machine. If I install the without iPhone G, it will install into the current folder only. So next step, we can like uh, verify whether the Angular uh, CLI is uh, installed or not. We need to use the command ng space iphone v it will provide the angular cla version and the basic commands available 
So it's showing like we need to use ng space version. So it will show the version. And the angular serial version is 9.1.1. And it's showing a Node.js version and what are the OS version we are having. And the related packages of Angular, what, what are the things available in this particular machine. And if, if you go to the uh, commands, available commands, uh, we have lots of commands. Add, analytics, build, deploy. So many things are available there. So let me clear this. So this is how you need to set up the uh, your uh, dev environment in your local box. Next step is like um, you can, if you, if you really want to uh, try out in the browser itself, uh, uh, there is an option called uh, like a website called uh, StackBlitz. If you uh, Google this, you'll see a website StackBlitz.com. So what StackBlitz will do is like it will provide a lot of uh, uh, boilerplate code for Angular, React, view kind of things. Uh, if I click Angular, it will create a very minimal code with a, like a basic sample. And the runnable codes, uh, you can type something online and you can try out a few things in the uh, browser itself. So as you could see, like a lot of files has been created here in the browser stackbridge.com. So for our tutorial, we will follow the uh, native things like uh, we'll generate the files using Angular CLI in my local box and I will show you how to uh, do that. So for that, uh, what we can do is like I'll just travel to my um, folder. So we can create a new directory. Uh, we can name it as a tutorial, maybe. So it will travel to my. So basically, I created a folder. Inside this, I'm going to uh, create an Angular application. For that, we need to use the command ng. ng means Angular short form of Angular. This is how the Angular CLI commands will be uh, created, or like executed. ng space new. And I'm going to provide a name for this application. What we can uh, name it as basic tutorial. So once I give ng space new space a basic tutorial, it will create a package or like a, a folder uh, as a basic iPhone tutorial and create related files inside that particular folder. And it will ask us question whether you want to like to add Angular routing. Let's say yes. And which style sheet format you want you would like to use? We have a CSS, a CSS. Basically, these are like a style sheet, a various uh, style sheets like runnable. Uh, at runtime, it will build the uh, final style sheet. I'll go with the SCSS. And it just created a few files in the path. So it had created a app.routing.module.es, component.es. And in the next uh, video, we will see like each and every file, what is the purpose of that file? What is the main uh, goals to attribute and how we can maintain the, like um, how we can maintain the file structure uh, in these things. Uh, so once we like uh, created this, uh, it will start installing the packages. What these packages actually means, it will have a lot of dependencies inside the Angular. It need to like inside, it need to install the uh, libraries uh, that needs to run this particular application like a uh, angular library and uh, if, if if it is uh, uh, rxjs it needs to install that thing so let's go back to our web page so in this web page i also mentioned like additional reading section in this thing i had mentioned what is npm actually and what is the purpose of npm and uh, the main base thing for uh, npm is uh, like uh, whenever you run some command in the npm it will look for a file called package.json and in this file all the uh, like uh, it will like a uh, library uh, it will list the all the libraries which, uh, which is going to be used in this project based on the records available inside this file it will create and install the uh, packages in the folder we will see it uh, later as of now we can go back to this thing like a package uh, showing message like package installed successfully so I'm going to travel to that particular folder which we have created. So we have created basic iPhone tutorial, package called basic iPhone tutorial. I'm going to like uh, run the application now. The command is ng space so which means like so my uh, Angular application. We are telling the Angular CLI to serve our application. So once I click it, it will run the packages inside that folder basically. So 
what uh, the CLI will do is like it will go to the Angular project and it will compile and build uh, various uh, files available inside that and it will provide a URL for us to uh, browse our application. We can wait for a few seconds. It will build it and we will see the output. So basically, this uh, video is like a, you don't have to like uh, worry about a few things is not understandable or a few things is not uh, uh, like a very vast kind of uh, uh, explanation is needed. We just go with the flow. Over a period of time, uh, by following this uh, tutorial, you will learn basic things and you, you can like follow the instruction I had used. You can just uh, try out these things. So over a period of time, you will learn uh, most of the things uh, and you will get into the flow by uh, Without referring any videos or like a text, uh, text cells, you can just uh, uh, on the fly you can create an application. So now it's showing a message like uh, the open the browser using the HTTP HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon four double zero. So it build the application and uh, serves our application in the following path. We will go to our browser. So as you could see, like uh, here it's showing some basic HTML pages with some information. Uh, so these were all the components available in the newly created package. Very minimal uh, UI and uh, some links, hyperlinks available for Angular official Twitter page. So this is how you need to like set up your dev environment uh, and you could uh, able to try out these things uh, by following the tutorial like uh, you need to install a Node.js and uh, install Angular CLI and using the command ng-new space your uh, needed uh, application name like it can be any name in the text uh, you can try out and when you give ng space so you will get this output you just try out and leave your comments in the feedback section below we will check out what are the files it's got created and the purpose of uh, each files in the next video thanks for watching Keep supporting efficient user. Make sure you subscribe and like the video so that you could get a notification in all the featured videos we are uploading. Thank you so much.